every musical air familiar with the Western music will easily recognize the major scale played on the wood just now. In the Arabic musical system, there is an identical scale called Ajam. Now, we will take the same scale, major or Ajam, and lower the third and seven steps by a quarter tone. The resulting scale, called Rast, is similar to major, but the two steps, lowered by a quarter tone, cause it to sound out of tune to Western ears. There are Arab scales identical to the Western major and minor scales. These scales use the diatonic tones just like the West. There are other elements that are identical in both cultures. The book bridges a gap between the two cultures clearly and simply and makes understanding the Arab musical system as complicated as it looks an easy task. The desire to create a practical tool for those who wish to study the theory of Arab music systematically and at their own pace led me to write this book. Taksim is a solo improvisatory genre which takes us on a journey which ends where it began. The instrumental genre is of great importance in Arab culture and is explained at great length in the book. The book begins with an explanation of scales in Western music. And in the second section continues with an explanation of the principles of Arab music. In the first section, we learn the principles of the Western system that are relevant for us. The second section introduces us to the elements in Arab music that are similar to those in Western music, which we discussed in the first section, and the difference between them. Thus, we will learn about the quarter tone octave, the names of the notes in Arab music, intonation, improvisation, and many other elements that make Arab music seem so different from the Western music. As we study this section, we will recognize the value of first introducing the Western music system in the first section. The third section presents a compilation of 48 of the musically important and widely used maqamat in Arab culture. Each maqam is presented in detail, including its scale, internal divisions, important pitches, and improvisational possibilities. In addition to the notated analysis which appears in the book, the maqamat are demonstrated by the performance of Taksim by the legendary Iraqi canoe player Avraham Salman on the disc which is included in the book. I'm convinced that this book makes a most important contribution to Arab music. 
In fact, the book fills a serious gap in the study of theory of Arab art music, both for students and teachers. The importance of Arab musical tradition has been recognized today all over the world. And this book is the most necessary source of information on Arab music because of the systematic method in which it presents the theory. And I believe it deserves a place on the shelves of every musician, both those who play Arab music and those who play Western music. This book is dedicated to all music lovers, students, teachers, and musicians who would like to learn about modern Arab music, its connection to its historical roots, and about the maqam and its importance. Mm -hmm.